as I'm painfully famous for being behind on, you know, unboxings, <laughs> this is from October. This is October's box, Rites of Semaine. Now I have a fun story about this. It's not fun, it's really dumb, but I'm gonna tell you about anyway. So I was like, okay, I recorded that intro bit, and then I was like, oh, I forgot the box is upstairs. Whoopsie daisies, because my space is downstairs. So I'm upstairs walking around. I found November and December's boxes. I told you I was far behind. I'm looking for these boxes. I found these two, and then I'm like, wait a minute. Doesn't October, don't I have a box for October? I'm pretty sure I didn't do that already. So I'm looking around my house. It took me like 20 minutes. I'm looking, I'm looking, can't find this box. Can't find October's box. Ask my husband who really doesn't know nor cares. And he's like, I have no idea. So then I come down here and I'm like, you know what? Whatever, it'll be fine. Like maybe I didn't get October's box. I, whatever, but I swear I had it. Maybe I'm on glue. Maybe I already did that. I don't know. And then I look at my pile of things to do underneath my, my, uh, one desk and I'm like, oh my God, it's right here. I literally was looking for this stupid thing for 20 minutes. It was right in front of my face. So anyways, let's enjoy Rites of Semaine. Here we go. Ooh, I love this sticker off the hop here. This is super cute sticker. Freaking love that. Their stickers are always super cute. I love them. Ooh, so the first item here is divination fumigation herbs. I, okay. <laughs> Use this herbal blend as a loose incense in a well-ventilated space or outside. Containing paduarca, paduarco, rose, sandalwood, and more for a powerful plant ally. Boost to your Samhain and ancestor rituals. Burn on charcoal or in a fire. You can also add to your candles. Never burn herbs on the dead. Oh, that's nice. See, and this is the problem that I have with missing or like being behind on boxes. This would have been perfect for Halloween for Samhain because the box is literally for Samhain and I was just like, Bleh. so I'll have to remember this for next year. This is really cool. Oh, is there, can you see it? Yeah. I was gonna say, let's look at it. And you can see it in the back, just a little sneak peek. So this next item I have picked up, it's called flying ointment. Is this gonna make me fly? For dream work, divination and rituals, this salve is a maceration of traditional flying herbs, such as henbane wormwood, as henbane wormwood. Created in a base of organic olive oil and beeswax. This can also be used medically to treat chronic pain and inflammation for mood elevation and sleep issues. Chronic pain? So I done my back in somehow like a few days ago and it's very sore. So I really needed this then and now I can use it because my back still hurts. Great. I'm so glad I found this. I'm so glad I opened this box today. Should have opened it way earlier, but what can you do? Let's take a look and we'll smell it. Cause you know me, I gotta smell things. It's very brown. All right. So it does have a little bit of a scent to it, but it is very, very, ah, oh, gosh, I can't even think of words today. It's not that strong of a scent, but it, there is one there I had to like, stick my nose like almost right into it. So that's nice that it's not overpowering. I like that. So the next item I pulled up is called October Rust. It is a perfume. There is no description for it. It's by Earthen Alchemy. Uh, you can find stuff on Earthen Alchemy's website. I'm pretty sure it's just earthenalchemy.ca, .com, something like that. It'll be on the bottom here anyway. Let's give it a smell. Let's give it an old whiff. Ooh, that's nice. It smells very cinnamon, like very sweet and spicy. I like that. October rust. I wonder why they named it that. It doesn't smell like rust. The next item here is the Samhain Ritual Candle. This candle can be burned during the time before and after Samhain. 
scented in spices, citrus, and artemisia popped in wormwood. Best used during your ancestor rituals or on the altar of your dearly departed. Ooh, that's nice. So if I was to do like an ancestor thing, I could burn this. So that's really cool. I like to try and do ancestor type things, dearly departed, um, altar spaces during like the month of October. So again, I'll have to remember this one for next October. Let's smell it. Oh, yum. It's definitely citrusy. <laughs> That's like the first thing that kind of smacks you in the face. I really like that actually. I don't know why, but I really enjoy like citrusy. It smells like citrusy and creamy. So it's very nice smell. And the lid is super cool. It's got this skull on it that reminds me of Beetlejuice. So I like that. The featured herb of the month is wormwood. Wormwood connects us with the soul of loved ones who has who have already left Earth and is a very powerful herb in funerary and necromantic use. Dress candles, ward unwanted spirits from your home by sprinkling in front of your doorway or put it in a sachet and carry with you to keep your loved ones close. Oh, that's really nice. I, uh, Recently, well, last year I lost my grandmother. It'll be a year on the 29th. So that's a really nice thing to have for sure. Oh, I didn't see this. The planet uh, for Wormwood is Moon and Mars, and the element is Water and Fire. I love that. Oh, mildly toxic, used with caution. Didn't even see that, dang, okay. So the last item in this box is Psycho Pomp Altar Spray. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Traditionally, a Psycho Pomp is a guide of souls to the place of the dead. Ah, I see. This spray can be used as an offering to your ancestors after a loved one passes through the veil or as a way to connect back with them. Spray on your space, place, or self. Contains mugwort, uh, lavender, rosemary, and other necromantic herbal essential oils. Very nice. So again, perfect for Thermine. Um, I'll have to remember this one for next year too. Psycho Pomp really threw me for a loop there. I thought we were summoning something. Anyway, this sounds cool. Uh, I'll see if I can smell it. I don't want to spray it just because I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not really planning on offering anything, but um, at this present moment, anyway, I'll try to smell it through the thing. Oh yeah, you can smell it. Uh, how to describe it? I don't really know. You can definitely smell the lavender. It lavender in it. So that's a lovely smell always. Yeah, it's a very nice smell. And uh, I'm probably gonna try this on the 29th, to be honest. Um, so I'll let you, I'll, I'll keep you, clue you all in on how it goes, clue you all in, keep you in the know. So October's box has now been unboxed. I really enjoyed this box, very Samhain, you know, um, Oh my gosh, I can't think of words and this always happens every time, so sorry. Uh, this really stuck with the theme of Samhain and I really like that. Unfortunately, it's really only good for then, so I will have to wait for next year to use most of these things, but um, I can use these things fairly soon. Not all of them, but some of them, for sure. You know what, maybe probably all of them, because it's all to do with like ancestral work and like that kind of thing and I know the best time to do that is October is Samhain but I'm pretty sure you can do it any time of the year so anyway that is this box let me know in the comments down below because you know I love to hear from you what you thought of this box and if you'd like to leave a like please feel free to if you're not subscribed already you can do that too if you'd like it's totally optional of course so whatever you want if you're already subscribed though, 
thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And that's it for me today. I'll see you guys some other time in a different box. Goodbye.